good morning everyone today i want to talk about memorization right this is not biblical today it's just science right so when we talk about memory so i will break it down in two parts right there's recognition and recollection so a lot of times we say we remember we remember but that's false let me give you an example let me break it down recognition is the ability to identify information based on past encounters so something that you heard or seen before you are able to recognize it because you stumbled upon it again so example will be if you're reading a textbook right and you were highlighting stuff and you go and take a quiz and now you see that information and they'll be like aha i remember this you have a light bulb moment but that's wrong you recognize it because you've seen it before if i were to ask you a question about it without you actually you know seeing it again you probably would go like mm. Mm, I would have to look it up again. But if you did see it, even like a sentence or something, it will trigger that memory. That's a clue. That's a visual or verbal clue that will allow you to recognize that information based on the data that is stored in your unconscious mind, as opposed to recollection is the ability to recall or really remember. Recollection is actually remembering information based on you know the information that is stored in your mind so you don't need any outside trigger or help to recognize to recall this information um let's see what a good example of that is what is your birthday you book uh, uh, uh. when did watch it send a crash and you mm, mm, mm. and i say hey when did um you know the the, the world war one start and you go like july 28 1914 through november 11 19 um 1918 and you'll be like oh yeah it started because they killed this dude the archer duke for dinner and then um it was a slave called gravilo princip and how did the war end oh yeah it ended because um they had this armistice and um that's what ended the war and that will be recollection because you were able to tell me this information without any additional clues or trigger from my part you were able to recall that is remembering now they're both important but i feel like we use our recognition memory much more like me i'll I be taking mental screenshots whenever i see that information again i will recognize it but that's not always the best because sometimes you don't get to you, you don't get a trigger. Let's say you go take a state test. Sometimes you will not get the trigger. And if you've been practical on the job, they ask you a question. You might not get any clue to recognize that you will just go like uh, uh, blank. So there are ways to increase this. You can take vitamins like omega-3 fa fatty acids, you know, blueberries, um, broccoli and stuff like that to just help you increase your memory.